Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we will see how to configure AWS CLI so that we can use AWS SSO. For this we need to make sure that we have AWS CLI version 2 installed. You can run AWS hyphen hyphen version command to check the version of AWS CLI that has been installed onto your system. In my case it is 2.15.58. Now let's proceed with configuring SSO using AWS CLI. Command for that is AWS configure SSO. Session name is internally used by AWS CLI to create SSO sessions. We will name it test session for this video. For SSO URL and SSO region name, please use details provided by your AWS administrator. We will accept the default registration scope provided. Please ensure to check with AWS administrator in case of any deviation. Once the entire data has been correctly entered, a browser session is launched by AWS CLI to complete the authentication. Ensure to verify the code displayed in your browser with the code displayed on your console. As you can see, the code on my browser window matches with the code displayed on the console. Click on confirm and continue. I'm already logged in, so I'm not prompted for AWS credentials. However, if you're not logged in, you'll be prompted for AWS credentials before being presented with this additional dialogue seeking permission to grant access to test session created by AWS CLI for us. Once request is approved, you can close the browser window and continue the next steps on the console. On the console, you will see a list of accounts you've been granted access to. Select the one which you want to use for this profile, followed by the applicable role. For now, I'm going to use read-only access permissions. Next, we will specify the default AWS client region used by Auto3 calls using this AWS CLI profile. Choose the one applicable for your project that you're working on. We will name this profile as test-SSO for this video. I would recommend you use project name instead for an easy reference. This completes the creation of profile for AWS CLI. Please feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions or any suggestions. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on development for the cloud. Thank you.